Okay, now we have got different types of uh, uh, switching systems. You can see a uh, four gang, a uh, single, let's say it's for the bathroom, for the toilet, for the kitchen, and for the outside light. So students will be exposed to this, and this is our socket outlet. And also, these, these, these ones are the ones that will be same thing. And these ones are also stove isolators, and these are dimmer switches. So instead of just talking about switches, we thought talking about different types, the students will have a practical feel for that. These are our enclosures here. Yeah. Okay, these are also type of the socket outlets which we have in the switching systems. These are the uh, conduit accessories where we are having our nipples, our couplings, and our different types of bands. You realize that in some circumstances, you would want to install a lot of uh, big cables, but you have to uh, cushion them from uh, uh, mechanical damage and also whether you can end up using this one, which is almost, um, this is 20, 40 mils and this one is 25. And we have our bands and inspection uh, boxes here, the T's, the inspection elbow and the T's and the two-way junction on um, our round boxes. And the, these ones, which you can also use for, for switching and different types of lamp holders. These are our industrial socket outlets, which can help us with uh, three-phase uh, systems, but they come in different uh, categories. These ones are pre-made starters, which we can have uh, direct online starters, which we usually use for our pumps. It's ready-made, and students must know how to do fault-finding on this. The most um, basic parts which we did is our plug and play section. On this plug and play, students will be taking components like this, they mount them on the board, they can do any type of circuit. As they come, remember, they are not yet well versed with the industry. So when they are plugging in here, they are curbing um, the situation whereby they will touch life parts. So each student starts from this part, which is plug and play, and also the motors are uh, 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 also uh, plug and play, both single phase and uh, three phase motors, including two speed motors. So, let me show you now part of our accessories, which we just fished out from the storeroom for display for this session. These are electrical accessories which students can hire from the workshop and work on the panels like those ones. So it's part of their curriculum to be able to identify components and be able to do the work. Since they will be working in the field where they must do requisitions in the storerooms or to draw quotations to be able to complete a work that is in the electrical field. As you can see, we've got different types of lights and the lamp holders, I can say, and this is for our outside lighting. You can see this one in the streets or in the hotels where these uh, big lights and their lamp holders are used. Then here you can see it's an array of different lighting systems which will be calling for different uh, types of holders. And as you can see, they are colorful is because they need to be used. You see, um, before we have this LED world, we used to have uh, Christmas decorations with different types of bulbs. These are some of the things that are, that are used. While we are still on light, lighting systems, you can see that here I've got a, a collection of all lights. Some are purple, some are yellow, some are yellow, but the important thing is that they are Edison screw and as you can see here for different lighting system that is street lighting and also for aesthetics in uh, places of leisure we've got different types of voltage voltages too and also our LED down lights so you can see this one is pin, they'll be having different types of sockets and we put mini fluorescent where they'll be using on pull house wiring like those ones. They order the fluorescent, they take the bolts, 
they do their full house say that when they go in the industry they will be able to do the full house wiring by just extending our conduits right this is our three phase motor here for our drives for all these panels it's movable then this is our transformer at times you see that we will be having uh, cities and PTs, they must be able to measure, they must know that it's naked like this because they must know the interior of a transformer, the coils, the core and the terminations. And it's coupled, it's coupled with other transformers which we use for cities and PTs and these ones are for transformer calculations. So we've got three sets of each. According to the KCTO uh, checklist, you can see that there are also straight levels. When we are doing work, everything must be straight. We've got delay on timers and delay off timers, and sets of different lugs and ferrules. And the most important thing in electrical engineering is measuring your signals. We've got our insulation tester. This one is a PLC trainer. And we've got a network analyzer meter. We also have, this one is called um, multi-voltage uh, network analyzer loop tester and the prospective short circuit current uh, tester. When you are doing our COCs, this is the main uh, tool which we which we use. And we have got our analog analog insulation tester. It does the same thing as this one, but this one is digital and this one is analog. We've got a lot and lot of that. You see, it's also an insulation tester. And um, this one is for testing our eight loop impedance to check whether the ground is having the correct resistance to dump the electrical force in the ground. We have got our line tester. This is our, the doctors have got theirs. We have got ours as engineers, as electricians. It tests the line whether it's live or not. And it shows the, the light here, whether it's 220 volts or uh, 1000 volts. This one is called a phase rotation. You see, at times when I want to see the direction of rotation of my motors, I must, it will be showing the correct direction if I have done the correct um, connection by just clipping the red face, the white face, and the uh, blue face onto the circuitry before I switch on my motor, I must see the correct rotation. For example, we want to take people down into the mine. Then the, the, the first button will take the motor up, you see, which will cause accidents. So this is a phase rotation tester and I've got general mount meters. And also this one is a, is a mount meter where we check our voltages, we check our current and we check our power uh, in the circuitry. And uh, we also have some other instruments here, like this one is a soldering iron when we're doing electronics, it's, we deal with very little components, we need to solder them on the PCBs, so this is a soldering iron, and in my toolbox, let me check what's in there, right, two rules, this is a sample, this is a sample of the toolbox which are given to each apprentice when they come uh, in our uh, center and they must take this uh, toolbox with them uh, when they qualify. So we just assembled one so that you can see. They are electrician screwdrivers, they are wholly insulated to avoid shocks. We've got our cutters, side, cu side cutter and the combination pliers, long nose pliers, and many other tools that are in here. We also do welding, part of welding, our welding machines, our rods, grinders, 